My name is Kyle Green, 50 years old, I live in Castor Valley, and I'm an actor. I started when I was 13, so it's going on uh, 38 years. And uh, it's something that's in the blood, and I know well, and I have a lot of experience, and a fair amount of connections, and a lot of credits. So it's something I've continued to do throughout different incarnations of my life, and uh, different uh, careers that have built themselves alongside it, but it's always something that's been a constant. The first scene of the first movie I did was a bedroom scene where I had to be in boxer shorts and a t-shirt, and I was in bed with a very attractive Latina woman, and I said, oh, I like this. And I had been an actor for uh, quite a while by that time, but uh, as far as the film thing go, uh, it was a, it was a wake-up experience, and I deliberately did not learn my lines, meaning I had pieces of paper all along the set, because I wanted the character to be a little more hesitant than the actress I was working with, who was quite a professional and done a number of films. So uh, it looked, my acting looked pretty much the way I wanted it to, but it was badly edited. Because there were some denouements in it, because it was a mystery, and it was badly edited in such a way that uh, things that the character wasn't supposed to know about, knew, the character knew about because scenes were not edited in sequence. So that was another wake-up call about not necessarily acting, but about production and direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, something I've been doing so long, it's more like a second skin for me, or sometimes a first skin when I'm involved in. Uh, it's something that I do pretty naturally. I mean, I probably do it all the time. When I don't have a chance to be on stage, I'm acting to some degree, which drives my wife crazy. She's getting used to it. So yeah, it's pretty natural to me, but it, it does excite me when I get a chance to actually get involved in a production and really bring all my craft and my experience into it. By the way, I married uh, the only non-actress I ever dated, so I don't know if that tells you anything about the profession or not, but uh, yeah, and my wife uh, met me in a nightclub doing, I guess you'd call it acting, I was, dance, I was dancing on stage at a show, so I guess you'd call it performing, but it wasn't like doing a play or anything. So. She thought it was cool because I, I, I had the, uh, the uh, balls to do that. That you, know, you have to be kind of fearless as an actor. So She married an actor. She hasn't been pushing me too strongly to get out of it, but uh, it's, been, it's been difficult. But she believes in me. She supports what I'm doing. Uh, some projects that I've worked on that don't necessarily require much in the way of acting, she's got them involved in. I directed her in something last year. Uh, so she's, she believes in what I'm doing as long as I push at it and sometimes it gets a little um, disheartening. Uh, I'm not so much concerned with the rejection, that hasn't really bothered me, but the inactivity when I'm not working on a production and I'm spending all my time auditioning, 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 learning new pieces, uh, it, it gets, gets tiring. When I hit my mid-40s, I decided to sell my house move out of the Bay Area, move to the other side of the country where I knew that their arts funding was actually available. The day we were loading up the truck to leave, we got a call to be in a Robert De Niro film. And I said, can we stay an extra week? And my wife said, we're literally loading up the truck and getting ready to go. And I knew it was not a wise decision at that time. And driving across the country, I said, man, I made a mistake. I did a play last year, and I stepped in for somebody who dropped out. And I was playing a 40-year-old. I'm 50 years old, and I think I look every second of it. And through the whole thing, I said to myself, I'm completely wrong for this, I'm completely wrong for this. The woman playing my fiance was 22 years old, playing 30, and I was 50, playing 40. And it felt really strange to me, and even the pictures I saw, I looked out of place, but apparently it worked. Another role I played at the same theater, which is in the East Bay, I played uh, Lenny Small in Of Mice and Men some years ago. And it was not for pay, but it was one of those roles I felt I was too old for, but I would never have another chance to play, so I gave it a shot. I probably did uh, the hardest uh, research and work on any role I've ever done, and I think it paid off. But again, it's live theater, and only a handful of people saw it, so photographs are all I have in my memories. I've been in close to 200 productions, so multiply that by five, thousand or more. It's really hard to say. Um, I've worked for big corporations. I've worked for small businesses. I don't like the nine to five. My father was the same way in his own business. 
But it's tougher when you're selling yourself because that's a product that is intangible. Um, all I have are my experiences and my, uh, my knowledge. And uh, there are a lot of guys out there like me. It's, it's all about drive and commitment.